first cabinet's going to go in. It's the one over the cook stove. So that vent system needs to get installed. Read the instructions. Go over the measurements. Because now we got to cut holes in the brand new cabinet to get that ductwork and the wire in. So go over those measurements. Measure it at least three times. Cut once. These are brand new cabinets. We don't want to screw these things up. So we're all cut out here. We got the wire. I'm going to install the actual vent itself on the bottom of this. We'll get it put up. The ventilation part of this, what I did is I went to Home Depot and I bought this boot. What that does is now I can slide this in place up into the existing duct. With just the little lip that comes with the hood itself, there's, there's not much adjustment. So by adding that extra boot, I got a whole bunch more adjustment there. Now I can slide this in place, slide it up into, pin it in a couple of spots. We should be good. Dish is no cabinet installer, right? But I do my best. So a couple things is when you do your first one, it's got to be level because your next one's going to attach to it. And at that point, you can't adjust a whole lot. So you just got to make sure that first one is perfectly level and plumb. Because you can't do a lot of measuring off the floor or the ceiling, especially in this older home, with plaster on the ceiling. Because if you try and measure off your ceiling at different points, in this house, it doesn't work because that ceiling has such a wave to it and this floor is off a little bit. So get your first one, level plumb, and go from there. Make sure you hit your studs with your screws. Screw your fronts together. They said screws. You can also buy cabinet screws. Another thing you're going to need is some shims. These are plastic. I also use some wood ones. Drill with the right size bit, and then you need your driver, of course. And to keep the fronts together nice, grab yourself some hand clamps. Now, if your material is a little bit soft, put something in there to clamp to. Stir stick, anything, a little block of wood. It all works good. And also, as you can see, took the doors off so much easier without them doors in the way. It's lighter, easier to handle, to get into place. That's upper cabinets. These are set now. I'm going to get the shelves in. And then we'll get the doors back on. All set here. Right now, I'm working on the end of the cabinets. In a couple spots, they sent actual material to go between the end of the cabinet and the wall. Now for whatever reason over the refrigerator it's almost a four inch gap and they didn't provide anything. So what I did went to Home Depot got a prime board pine and I'm gonna make my own filler piece. So what I did is took a measurement on the top and the bottom of that gap and there is a slight difference. So what I'm gonna try and do is cut that slight angle with the saw myself. Uh, I got plenty to work with. I need 23 and a half inches. I got an eight foot board. I got plenty to work with, but I'm gonna try it. Clamp it down and I left it long just so that saw has more surface when I get past that actual cut there. Try and make the cut, see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is try and keep most of the saw bed on the biggest part of the material. Even though this is kind of left-handed for me, uh, I'm gonna try and keep that table, like I said, up on the majority of the work. See how straight I can make it. Let's give it a shot. Okay, that didn't go too bad. 
I did notice I got a couple little waves. I'm going to test fit this piece. And then I also have my little electric planer. I can smooth that out a little bit. Should be fine. All right, let's cut it off. Went in and did the test fit. Still just a little bit snug. I'm going to take a little bit more material off. Should fit in there perfect. <laughs> This piece fits really nice right now. With the cabinets came some extra paint. So I'm gonna get this painted prior to putting it up. Once it's painted and dried, I'll install this. Just makes it look better at the end of the cabinets. Yeah, it's over the refrigerator, but still you want that to continue right to the wall. I don't think a gap like that does any good. We'll fill it in. Got the piece all set to go. Pretty simple fix. I'm gonna spend a little time working on this area. Over the sink, the windows here, I gotta drop this down to cover this pipe. Almost like a mini soffit. So I'm gonna come down two inches. I'll tape the back corner, trim around the cabinets, and then there'll be a piece going across the front here and I'll trim that drywall there because that crown molding is going to continue right along the top of that. Got a light to put in, got to put a box in for that. Lots to do here. It's time to get after it. Working on that transition area above the sink. So I had to make that little soffit come down a little bit to cover that pipe. Rip some lumber two and a half inches, screwed up to the ceiling, put some drywall up there, that light fixture box, put that up there, pulled the wire through. Got to mud that in now, cover up the screw holes and stuff. And the piece that's going to then transition from one set of cabinets to the other, now I got to make that. So this is the piece that was up there, but it's too short to fit in the new configuration. But it didn't look bad, so what I did is found the center of this, center of the new, and I traced it out, and then just brought the end down on each end. So I'll take the saber saw, cut this out, take the router, knock that edge down, sand it up, prime it, and then paint it the same color as the cabinets. Should look pretty good across there. transition piece that goes above the sink between the two cabinet sections two coats of primer on this I'm gonna sand it down a little bit and then I'm gonna install it now I was thinking about painting this prior to installation but if you paint it afterwards if there's a little gap on these edges maybe a little paint on there tighten it up a little bit make it look better Another thing I'm thinking about doing, this is the trim piece that goes in front of the dishwasher. It's got the adjustable slots there for height. But when you walk up the kitchen stairs, right at eye level, you see this, you know. And I thought about painting this the same color as the cabinets. But then I thought, well, maybe add a piece of trim to it. I'll do something, make it look a little better. Got our piece ready to install. This is that little soffit I built. Remember that drain pipe was there? And I used a shallow box here 
it's only a half inch deep and that box is good enough for one cable and one fixture in this situation it worked out good because right above that is that drain pipe full-size box wouldn't work shallow boxes certain places they work out good so I mudded this in I'm gonna give it a sanding and I'm also thinking about maybe trimming that out with that crown molding see what I got left over from the rest of it may as well use it up might look nice in there all right we'll get everything put together transition pieces in crown molding in place put the little returns on it looks pretty good that ceiling got some wave to it so if you got some gaps above your molding like that because your ceiling waves a little tube of caulk get some in there wet your finger delicately slider along there it's not a cure-all, but it makes it look better anyway. All right, time to paint all this. Get the light fixture in. This little part's done. This little area really turned out pretty good. The transition piece dropped down with that little soffit and deciding to go with that crown molding back there. It was the right decision. This light was the original but it was chrome from back in the day, all corroded and stuff. Sanded down, repainted. Actually looks pretty good there. Now this just needs to get painted the same time as the cabinets get a little touch up. But then this area will be done. Really happy with the way this turned out. I was worried the whole time about that pipe, all that stuff. Yeah, it turned out good. Really didn't mess anything up. Nice little area right here. Well, the last cabinet installed, this one took a little more extra work. The floor right in this area for this last one was just so bad. And trying to level it, shim it, I ended up tipping it over and actually sanding out a little area, tipping it over, putting it back down, shimming it into place. It's not what I planned on doing, but sometimes you got to do some different things to make it work. So now these are all perfectly level, really nice. Back here, different colors of tile for the backsplash. There's so many different colors and patterns and different tiles. We'll see what gets decided for that. But that backsplash won't get started until after the countertop is set. The people that are going to do that countertop are coming next week. Make a pattern, make the countertop, come back and install it so it'll be a while. It's time to put some hardware both on the drawers and the doors. Just took a little piece of flashing, put some tape around it, marked the holes, made a little pattern where they go here and here it's simple sure saves time though measuring